lights out at a San Joaquin County high school, but it has nothing to do with the weather. Thanks for joining us here for the CBS 13 News at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13's Kayla Muller live in Stockton at Ronald E. McNair High School with the power struggle taking on more than one meeting. Kayla. Yeah, so normally this sign up here would be lit full of the weekly agenda, student PSAs, but the problem is half of the campus has been without power for the last 10 days. And nope, it's not due to any storm. Parents voiced their frustration at the Lodi Unified School District's Board of Education meeting Tuesday over a power outage that has left students learning from home once again. We learned uh, of the power failure on Monday, January the 29th. Uh, the issue was the bus bar that took, takes power from the transformer to the school failed. Lodi USD says they've been working with local contractors and PG&E to correct the problem. The power outage itself is not due to storms. I, I think the delay, uh, potentially the delay in repair has been due to storms. PG&E has been on storm watch. So um, it's been created additional challenges for getting things done. What happened at McNair is a surprise that cut us all off guard. The students, however, have adapted fairly well, but that does not mean it was an easy transition. Students are crying deja vu, remote learning, but without the pandemic. But I know for the students, it has had an impact on our learning capacity as we all can, can't hear our teachers trying their best instead of the actual lesson. We have had a difficult time hearing our teachers as they're all trying to teach their students at the same time. We're taking it day by day. So they're they're working right now. Mark Dawson tells me there are two transformers on campus. The one that isn't working supplies power to the classrooms. As soon as we get the go ahead, we'll welcome students back. Mark Dawson was not able to tell me a time frame of when everything's going to be back up and running. However, in the meantime, the school is offering meals for students for pickup and also hot spots to keep at students homes for anybody who needs it. Yeah, it's been a rough few days. Kayla, thank you. Live in Lodi tonight.